Howdy ho there people. So uh, I'm just now coming off injury reserve. Uh, I'll be diving this week. But I don't have any footage because I haven't been diving. So uh, Fred and Rob were gracious enough to give me some footage that they had shot um, a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to throw that together and give you all some niblets. Probably would be to get back in the water so enjoy. It's Red Snapper Weekend, and we see some, and I don't even pull the trigger because I'm the bird dog. You'll see what I mean. Okay, this isn't what you like to see, which is a lifeless ledge. Just a ledge with some sand. Okay, more lifeless ledge. I'm starting to think we're not going the right way. Yo, let's uh, turn around. This is generally a good sign. When you see some smoke, well, there's a grouper. Nice one, Rob. Okay, remember the uh, the bird dog reference? Well, that's me being a bird dog. I see something, yeah, over there, over there. When, when I say bird dog, this is what I meant, right? Pointing out the fish, not birds, but fish dog. Okay, nothing again. So this is how I feel. This is about how useful I am. Yeah. Not very. The bird dog is pointing out some vermilion snapper, which, well, they need to be big, but they're all over the place here. You can see them around, but they're hard to see because even though they're red on the surface, they are kind of white, clear in the water. Normally, wouldn't, we wouldn't shoot them, but I'm hoping that Kate gets to take something home. Okay, spearfishing tip, a little too aggressive. You chasing a fish like this, they're just going to run and they can swim back. The only thing I'm going to point out here is you actually get a better view of under a ledge if you stay on the top side and stick your head over the edge. That way your, your head is actually looking at the crack and it's not blocked by your body. Not sure if you can tell, but there's a lot more fish here compared to the reef that we started with, the ledge that we started with. This place is more alive, so I have some good hopes we're going to find something. The bird dog sees a red snapper. Get it, Kate! I think that was a miss, but at least it's a fish that we came here to target.
the bird dog sees another one on top of the ledge. Now how often does this happen in the field? The bird dog gives the hunter a loaded gun and loads the hunter's gun. Red snapper, not a giant one, but legal. This is the part of spearfishing that people don't really understand. It's, it's only half the game to stalk and shoot. Being able to land the fish is the other half of it. And that didn't happen. This bird dog is amazing, handing loaded guns and pointing out fish. This must be a special kind of bird dog, kind of like that. Kate sees an American Red, fires, and gives it a haircut, a big haircut. How to get it for her. nope. Hold off. That's not right. The bird dog. Boom. Good boy. Okay, we got an American Red on our American Red weekend. But to really get it, you need a you need to be able to put her on a stringer, so Kate's going to spin it up. <laughs> Not that easy to string it up. Take some practice. Okay, now that you got it strung up, which is the right thing to do, stringing it first, now you got to get the spear out, which, depending on, on the hit and the type of spear, can be a long process. That's why I carry two spears, actually. Kate is on the prowl. Let's see how she does. Looks like a porgy. Almost all fish you string it through the eyes. You can fit more fish on the stringer, and since they can't see, it calms them down. Congratulations, that was all you. Alright, something else got spotted. Go get it, Kate. Let's see what you get. Triggerfish, or maybe stone. I just got done saying 
you string fish to the eyes, and it would be easy to do trigger fish to the eyes, but you never string trigger fish to the eyes. You've got to string them through the mouth. They will be able to sit there and bite you the whole time. Time to go up. Good dive. Kate brought three fish back to the boat. 